Here we look for the power associated with the 6 milliamp source. We already know it's current, so if we can find the uh, voltage across that device, we can use power equals voltage times current. In this problem, we're trying to make use of source transformations. And we'll work on this in stages. So considering this a two-terminal device, we want to turn that into an equivalent voltage source in series with resistance. So we use the same resistor value, that's our 3K device. Then the voltage is the current source times the resistance, so that's 6 volts. So let me replace everything contained by that uh, enclosed region by that voltage source form. Next, to a similar kind of thing, we'll take a look at this two terminal device and replace it by its voltage source form. Again, we would use the same valued resistor, then take 2K times 12 milliamps, leaving us with a 24 volt source. Again, let me replace everything inside this enclosed region by that new voltage source form. Well, having done that, we look for simplifications. Of course, we see the 2K and the 3K are in series, leading to a 5K equivalent resistance. This voltage source and this voltage source are also in series. Uh, let me go ahead and redraw just a, a bit to make it a little easier to see how those voltage sources should combine. And let me draw this one more time. I'm going to interchange the position of these two devices. And finally, just to make sure this is totally clear, I'm going to redraw these stacked on top of each other vertically. So now hopefully it's easy to tell that as we go from the bottom node up through the 6 volt rise and then through a negative 24 volt rise that we have a total voltage rise of minus 18 volts. So let me combine those into one equivalent voltage source. So eventually I want to get the 5K resistor in parallel with the 1K. So let me go ahead and do a conversion to current source form. So current source is 18 volts divided by 5K. That's minus 3.6 milliamps. The 5K can combine together with the 1K resistor into a parallel combination leading to 833 ohms. And that's essentially as far as we can go. Uh, there would be the possibility of changing this back to a voltage source form, but uh, not sure if there's much advantage to doing that. Let's go ahead and observe then that we've got minus 3.6 milliamps flowing this way, 6 milliamps flowing that way. So we got a total of 6 minus 3.6 or 2.4 milliamps in this direction. Turns out if we then take the product of that resulting current times 833 ohms, we're left with 2 volts. So we've got 2 volts oriented this way. To make passive sign convention work properly, we then need to observe that we've got minus 6 milliamps flowing into the, the positively labeled terminal right here. So power is that voltage of 2 volts times the minus 6 milliamps. So we have a total power of minus 12 point watt milliwatts telling us that we have